Hello, this is VP Nursky, the Casting Hydralist, coming to you with game number three with my cohort in crime, VP Hand from Above. This is going to be, as I said, game number three of the match between our Blue Terran spawning here in the northern position on the map, Delta Quadrant. Sendo, winner of the last two matches, is up 2-0 in the series, and his opponent spawning down here in the south as the Pink Terran this game is going to be VP Anathorn. As I said before, this is on the map, Delta Quadrant. Do not know what the motivation for Delta was. Uh, Anathorn actually starting out already at a bit of a disadvantage just positionally as his in-base natural will be towards his opponent. And his natural, like with both players, will be both towards their opponents. But yeah, the in-base natural towards the opponent. No rotational symmetry on Delta Quadrant. Definitely not one of the most loved maps. One of my least favorite maps, to be totally honest, Hand. I, same here. I'm not a fan. I, yeah. I mean, it's nice to have the back, you know, where you can go back there and drop a base. But then you got to blow up the rocks. And then you got to worry about, you know, if the opponent's next to you, if he's going to come in and easily harass you. Because then they have the little cliff there that, oh, let's just throw a siege tank or two up there. Yeah, definitely not a big fan of Delta at all. Sundo is now going to be scouting right after he gets that first barrack started up. But Both he's players. going the wrong way. Yep. He is wrong gonna way! <laughs> he's going to be scouting close positions first, so he is not going to see VP Anathorn right away. Both players going for a relatively quick refinery, so pretty much identical builds at this point right now. Yeah, and uh, Anathorn's got a wall. He, he's, he's, you know, it's time to put, put the uh, fork down and... Uh, Throw it down. Yep, Anathorn is definitely going to have to get something done this game as he is down 2-0. 0-2, I should say. This is a best of five, so the next game that Sendo wins will send him into the finals for the King of Iron Tournament. Orbital Command on the way on 16 for Sendo. Likewise, on the way for VP Anathorn. Both players still pretty much mirroring each other in builds at this point in the game. Marines on the way for both players. Pretty much even synced up in time. So, uh, going to be interesting to see what they end up deciding to do here. Do have an SCV out scouting around for Sendo? Have a Marine going to scout out for Sendo as well. I'm not sure why it's going to this. I do. Map, he, he's 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 going to try to kill the uh, the scouting SCV. Uh, could indeed be true. He's going to try and pick up the SCV of VP Anathorn, force him to send out yet another SCV to be able to scout. Could make Anathorn think that his opponent is in the wrong place, but he is actually just going to go straight by the Marine gonna see that Sendo is not there. He was trying to be a tricky little guy and it's not gonna actually end up working out. Do have a little bit of variation builds now as VP Anathorn going for the fairly fast factor but getting a reactor on his barracks whereas back in the base of Sendo just a standard barracks and a standard factory. No add-ons yet. Second gas getting put down now for Sendo going up to two gases. And a tech back lab the... going down on the factory there. Yep. Meanwhile back in the base of VP Anathorn do have both of his refineries up already. Factory just about to complete. About 75% done with that tech lab on the factory. So that'll be finishing up momentarily. We'll be able to see what Sundo's going to do. I wouldn't be surprised to see Sundo just do something kind of standard like he's done the last couple games. Uh, almost got behind that last game, but still managed to actually pull off the victory. No, Sundo's trying now. something cheesy. You there was an so? SCV there. He had an SCV. He brought it in. Didn't make it up the ramp, though. Nope. Did pull an SCV with a couple Marines. I think that might have actually been more scouting-related than actually cheese-related. Uh, meanwhile, back in his base, pretty standard build. Uh, going 1-1-1. Barracks factory into Starport. Holy cow, chat. Must have been a little bit of a leg spike in the tournament. We look at the base of VP Anathorn. He has done the fairly similar build. Going with the barracks into the factory into the Starport. Now building out his first siege tank. So both players in a lot of ways still marrying each other. Anathorn has started his siege mode. Whereas we look at Sundo has not started siege mode yet. Probably just decided to delay that a little bit more than Anathorn is. Wants to make sure he can do continuous tank production. And there goes the siege mode upgrade. Is starting that now. A couple more marines just getting blasted out. Meanwhile back in the base of Anathorn. He's got a bunch of marines. Has a tank. Looks like a medevac on the way. Could be going for some kind of a drop on Sundo. We'll have to see what he actually decides to do with this. Sundo does scan again. Wants to know what Anathorn is up to. We'll see all the units of Anathorn. 
oh, this isn't good. If Anathorn pushes out, Sendo's going to have his whole army in the back of the base because he wants to take his uh, expanse. Yep, yeah, looks like he is going to be shooting up those destructible debris so he can try and take that expansion. The positioners do favor Sendo to try and do this. If he can't get an expansion up there, it would be a lot harder for Anathorn to assault because he does have the rotational symmetry disadvantage in this match. So we're going to see what he ends up deciding to do here. First medevac is done. Looks like he's just going to be moving around his base a little bit. Might be thinking of pushing out through the front. Is indeed going to be starting to moving out from the front of his base, and then he actually just stops right at his ramp. So still kind of holding right here. Both players getting out of Viking. Neither player really committing to push the other player. Both players playing really defensively. Being very leery of what the other player might be up to. No extra additional add-ons for Sendo just yet on that barracks. Still just running off of the one barracks, one factory, and a starport. Viking on the way now. And Anathorn's going out. He, he's going out for a little walk. Yep. Anathorn is going to be pushing out. Easily picks off that Marine that was scouting forward. Has a bunch of Marines, two tanks, and a medevac. Looks like Sendo's actually going to go try and meet him more towards the middle of the map. Does have one more take than Sendo. Is going to actually siege up before Anathorn, though. It does prevent Anathorn from really being able to push in here. One Marine's going to run forward to his doom. He's just a little greasy spot on the ground now. And now we have the Viking showdown. Looks like Sendo is actually going to get the better of the Viking war. So he does actually manage to pick off his opponent's Viking. This is going to force Anathorn to back up. Does not want to be in the range of those siege tanks with that Viking flying overhead without a Viking of his own. So air advantage to Sendo. That will help him to use these tanks keep his front secure maybe considering putting down an expansion is indeed going to do it so and since he has the rotational advantage is going to quickly put down that fast command center going to go for a more macro economic build than just go straight attack forces and throw at the same time though putting down an expansion of his own so both players kind of mirror each other a little bit but we have a bunch of scvs getting pulled for anathorn and because he's going for the, the, back, the base as well Yep, we do have a drop loaded up. Drop is on the way to the back of the base. Looks like he's going to try to use the drop to distract, but just plowing right into the front of Sendo's base using those SCVs as cannon fodder to tank siege tank shots. Will clear out all the siege tanks. Crushes through there. Moving forward now, just one tank left for Sendo. Sendo is going to be back up. Meanwhile, that drop is now getting to the back of the base, starting to shoot up the SCV line. All those Marines are going to get on the ground. They are on the ground. Sendo forced to pull all of his SCVs. Meanwhile, at the front of the base, we do have VP Anathorn setting up a contain with his tanks. Those Marines running rampant through the base. Here comes all the SCVs to try and pick off the Marines of VP Anathorn that he did drop into the base. Viking is shooting down the Medevac. Medevac just decides to stay and heal that one Marine as long as humanly possible. Marines are now trapped up against the Minerals. Sendo will clean them up. If we look at the income tab really quick, we do see that Sendo is now behind two SCVs. 21 to the 23 of VP Anathorn, plus the lost mining time. Going to be transferring some SCVs to his base. Apparently a little bit of a leg complaint by Sundo. Some SCVs getting transferred over. Orbital Command starting as natural. Meanwhile, VP Anathorn also starting his Orbital Command at his natural in the middle of his base. We do see he is now up to two barracks, one starport, and a factory. Blessing out some units. Does have a engineering bay on the way. Sendo still just running off of the one barracks and the one factory and the one starport. Has not added anything else to the mix yet couple of siege tanks on the high ground so um kind of a standoff right here uh the position is definitely benefiting sendo if they were in the opposite positions this would be a lot worse for sendo but uh actually this is actually starting to pan out for him now as he is able to take that expansion even with the siege tanks hanging out at the front of his base whereas anathorn's expansion is a little bit more exposed than sendo's so it looks like Anathorn's getting ready to maybe push in. He's got more siege up there. But I mean, that's pretty big. Oh, wait. Is Sendo pushing, pushing out? Uh, Sendo's chilling out right now. Nope, siege tanks are going to be getting unseized. Looking to see what he's going to end up doing here. Looks like he is going to push out. Does push out down his ramp. Re siege is up. Wants to get those tanks off the front of his base. He's going to try and target fire down the one tank of VP Anathorn with those Marines moving forward. Even a Banshee for VP Anathorn now as he has added a tech lab to his starport. And Sendo is going to GG out and VP Anathorn is going to take the series to 2-1. And we are going to indeed head into a game forehand. Yeah, wow. Um, I don't know if Sendo scouted out the, uh, you know, 
wall of siege out there, but I would have turtled a little bit, you know. Yeah, decided not to turtle, decided he didn't want to be contained into his base. Uh, actually was on somewhat equal footing with Anathorn, but decided he didn't want to be contained. Felt like that would give Anathorn too much map control, I would surmise, and decided he'd push out. Lost absolutely everything, and that was forced to GG as he'd have no way to defend the incoming push into his base. So definitely, I can't wait to see game number four now. Yep, definitely, and we're going to be heading into that game next, so go ahead and check that out right after this. If you want to see the conclusion of the second match from the round of four of the King of Iron Tournament, it's going to be VP Nurski and VP Hand of Above saying goodbye, and we will see you at our next game.